everyone, I'm Double Archangel, welcome to my channel. In this week's video, me and my art friend Wander Visuals, or Tiny from the Netherlands, took part in an Envado only photo manipulation challenge. What does this mean? It means that we only use stock from Envado Element. Now, this video is not sponsored by Envado, but I became a part of the affiliate program and by using the link down below, here somewhere, you can subscribe to the awesome Ultimate Creative Pack and also help me out. Anyhow, as I said, this Envato challenge was to make an artwork with only stock from their site and we decided to go with a HP Lovecraft theme or more accurate Cthulhu, how, however you pronounce that. This video will be a voiceover time-lapse on my artwork when I make it and I will give my feedback or, and thoughts about HP Lovecraft, Cthulhu, this challenge and so on. And after that we will see a reaction from both me and Tiny to our to both of our artwork. The rules were simple. Use only Envato elements as stock. Pick 16 pictures with five of them being a background picture each. So that's 32 pictures and use at least 10 of those. Make it a 4x5 ratio or a portrait. Keep the theme Cthulhu and HP Lovecraft and make it a book cover styled artwork so we can add it to a book cover later on. Yeah, I, I, I noticed him in the background too, don't worry. Anyway, if you like these kind of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the thumbs up, it helps out, and the bell for notifications when the next video comes out. And if you want to see my artwork, you can find it on Instagram as Double Art Angel or on Divine Art as Double Arch Angel. Anyway, let's begin the video. So, yeah. Uh, so this challenge was pretty ex exciting and uh, I started to build up a stormy background as you can see and well basically I had my vision in mind right away when we got the challenge and uh, HP Lovecraft is known to me from Arkham Horror games and uh, from the books and from the series and so on and everything is supposed to be mythical mystical little space but also well horror so uh, i decided that i'm gonna make cthulhu coming up rising up from the sea and uh, by starting to bash together from the stock that we had i started to build him bit by bit Now, I wanted to make this picture mystical and uh, epic and Cthulhu was supposed to be big, like huge and uh, to get him to look like that I tried to make a force perspective by adding Cthulhu in the background and uh, making this uh, lighthouse on the side just to give the size measurements of how big he actually is. And in the foreground then we have this steamboat kind of thing that is almost getting destroyed by Cthulhu. So this is in the middle of the chaos and the action. And I also wanted to implement that in this picture. Like it's stormy and the action is full on way and I decided to go with a 
green kind of glow, or well, actually, it will change to a bright star glow that I think is appropriate for Cthulhu because uh, he is supposed to be an outer space kind of uh, some weird from some other dimension kind of monster. Basically, the end of the world monster. So I decided to add this wet kind of texture, like some some kind of bone marrow wet texture to him to give this more of a slimy feel to this monster. Because well yeah of course he should be wet, but he also I also wanted him to look like he's like a little slimy. I also decided that I'm going with an overlay of rain to make the storm extra stormy. Now when I was done with the actual artwork in a moment, uh, I jumped over to Illustrator because I found this font that I liked but I still wanted to make it even more Cthulhu-like so in Illustrator I started to make these tentacles and add them to the font. Anyway, let's go to the voiceover reactions and start with Tiny and see what Wonder Visual has to say about these artworks. Hey there, my name is Tyne, also known as Fender Visuals on Instagram. I'm a hobby concept artist and I met Double Art Angel on Instagram. And he invited me to do a collaboration, uh, which I want to thank, uh, thank him for. So yeah, let's start off and discuss the artworks. Double Art Angel's artwork first. I'm looking at Double Art Angel's artwork right now. And the first thing I notice is that we kind of have the same composition, which is really awesome because we didn't know that from each other. So Cthulhu is in the far left in the background and the boat is in the foreground on the right. I really love how you put the chaos in there. Like the boat is really trying not to capsize. At least that's how it looks like. It's stumbling in the water, having a hard time with Cthulhu in the back and the contrast uh, you put in there you put it in so well like there's a lot of splashing water a lot of black the lightning that enhance all the highlights in the artwork it's a really chaotic feel which i think looks really good on this art piece and you also put in the rain and now i'm seeing it i totally forgot about putting rain in my artwork so um, it's really nice to see how you did this i also love how you put the title in the middle it really looks great now for my own artwork i try to capture Cthulhu and the boat. I didn't want to have too many subjects in the artwork because I thought it would distract from what's happening. So as you can see, the story is like Cthulhu is just coming out of the water and he's about to grab the boat. And it's really last minute, so the people on the boat don't really know what's happening and they're too late to react to it. That's why I chose to put a lot of splashing and falling water on Cthulhu because he's just moving out of the water with his hands and it's just happening. I tried to make it as blue as possible. I thought it would be a nice fit for the overall ocean feel. But then again, I totally forgot to put in the water and I was so in my creative zone that I even forgot about making room for the title for the cover. But yeah, it's really nice to see how two artists have a different interpretation of these stock images that were used. And somehow it's still kind of similar as in composition. So there's a boat and there's Cthulhu in the back. Yeah, I just want to thank uh, Double Art Angel again for this opportunity and uh, hopefully we can collab in the future again. Thanks a lot. 
Okay, yeah, thank you, Tyne. It was, like you said, really nice doing this collab together. And, well, let's go to my reaction to your artwork. Tyne's artwork also became really cool. We can see that he went with the pretty original Cthulhu look, I would say, with the red eyes and a big squiddy fish-like monster, maybe. And uh, so yeah, I, I really love this composition. Like I said, it it's pretty much the same one that we both took and made in this artwork and uh, I think Wonder Visual's version of this one looks really like actiony, like it's really happening right now. Whereas in my my version is more of it already have happened and it's about to end maybe even. So yeah, these water splashes that are all over Cthulhu in on on Tyne's version is are really cool. It's super super nice seeing these versions so guys i hope you guys like these kind of videos also and uh thank you for watching and i thank you again time for being part of this collab and uh let's not forget to use the link in description for the envato subscription and guys make sure to go follow wonder visuals on instagram he's a super Superb artist in photo manipulation. I'm Double Art Angel, thank you for watching again, and I catch you in the next one.